Morning Cactus people, we've got something a little bit different today. Um, we've got this one which is an Apuntia Pink Nanta, spelled P-Y-C-N-A-N-T-H-A, which is different to start with. Um, this is what you've probably seen cactuses described as, uh, or cacti described as rare all over the, the internet but this one actually is quite rare um, its main habitat is the Isla Magdalena which I think is off Baja California it might grow on a couple of other islands around there but that, I think that's the main one and I've had this one for about three years now maybe four uh, three I think and it's only grown these two pads it's very slow growing it's very very spiny too and um, I know at least one of my customers Scott uh, was, was after a cutting off this so I want to propagate it but I'm 61 now and I actually want to um, grow this before I die so I could wait for it to flower which um, might be a few years and then we've got to see whether it actually produces seed and then that could be another few years before they're, viable, before they're big enough to do anything with. So what I'm going to do is resort to something different. Now this one is um, a Puntia root feeder which is uh, also known as one of the bunny ears types. He's quite slow growing but um, not that difficult to propagate. Uh, I put this pad in like you would with um, just your normal prickly pear a punch you to propagate it. Just put the pad in and a few pads grow on the top. Now you're not guaranteed with the number. I've done well on this one. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pads. And each one of those I could take off and make another plant out of. So that's done pretty good. And if I did that it would probably produce some more. Um, so that that is one good method, but then again, it might not. It might have only produced one or two pads on that, so it's not guaranteed. This, however, is a different uh, method. This involves cutting the uh, the pad up into very small pieces and rooting each individual one. I put them in gravel and then planted them into um, compost. And I don't know if you can see that. I'll put pictures up in the. Um, single picks at the end of the video um, but all these have done very well that one's got three pads on it but each one's got a pad on it which um, will quite happily grow into a new plant well they are new plants so that's that's a good way of doing it so what I thought with this one um, I'm very hesitant to um, take the plant apart in the first place but we do want some cuttings from it uh, the reason it's in a pot is because it's um, unlike the other Apuntias, it's not hardy. Um, I have to take this out of the bed each year and bring it in the warm because uh, you just won't survive the frost. Um, so that limits the pot size I can do it. Maybe if I had a bigger pot then it would grow a bit faster. Um, but then again you've got the problems of moving a bigger plant in a bigger pot in and out each, um, each autumn. So, no easy solutions on this one is there. So what I'm going to do is going to hedge my bets and I'm going to do bugs. Um, you know, it's got a lot of spines and they appear to be barbed. So we're going to uh, put some nice thick gloves on. These aren't actually totally spine proof but they do help. So um, what I'm going to do here is um, one of the pads I'm just going to root up like this and hope that it produces um, pads on the top so try and grab that there and just twist right round keep going this isn't the omen so I have to change position a bit and that's come off very clean so that's great and here I'll clean this um, tray and I've sterilised both these um, the knife and the little chopper and they're all going into uh, sterilised things and yeah I suppose we can have a go at this now I've got the two implements here because with that amount of spines I wasn't quite sure how well it was going to cut so we might only manage quarters on this or something like that so first off I'll, I'll have a go with a little knife and uh, just shut the bottom off 
and yeah, it's cutting very well. That's fine there, so uh, we'll try quarters on that one. Eighths or whatever it's going to be. Yeah, that's fine, so I wouldn't want to go much smaller than this. I know we've done quite small ones on this, but it's quite a small plant. So that looks fine on that. And what I will do off camera is coat each cut piece with um, sulphur to uh, keep the fungus out. Ouch, some of the spines are getting through the uh, leather gloves. Um, I don't need the machete on this, that's, that's good. Divide those up and so on like that. Now I'll do the rest off camera, I don't have to do them uh, while you're watching and thinking, oh, heavens, heavens sake, Ziggy, get on with it. Um, so the next one we're going to do, we're going to just put a pad in like this, so again, ouch. Twist it off. Ooh, it's not coming too easily, this one. I don't think that's going to come off without tearing the bottom pad. No, he's not. So what I'll do, before I do any more damage, I'm going to slice that one. If I was doing this off camera, that would have come off clean and easily because I've got a camera on it. It's being awkward. Let's try the, the other one. This is where you need four hands. Whoa, and that's off. And it's uprooted one of the other ones. But, uh, okay, so we've got that off again. Coat that with um, sulphur, no problem there. And around here where it's got a bit of damage, where it twisted there, it's not a problem. And we'll take off the other puncher. Keep the gloves on because they've got blockages as well. And you can see, hang on a second, that one's rooted up nicely. That one I did probably last year. Uh, it's got nice little roots on it, so that will go back in a minute. And as I say, I'll leave the uh, coating sulphur, leave them to rest for a day or two, and then I shall root them up in grit. And because this is um, a non hardy one, these pads will be in the warm and they'll get on with rooting now, so it's. Um, it won't actually have a rest. I don't think this has gone to sleep at all this year. It looks quite uh, quite awake still. So I actually probably would appreciate a bit a little drink of water as well. So that's it. When um, if and when I've got some roots on them and they're growing, I shall make another video to show you the progress on that. So thank you very much for watching, people. Again, that's uh, a Pontia pink mantha. And I'm sure someone will tell me how I'm pronouncing that completely wrong, so there we are. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.